Malky, okay, game this weekend against uh, Hearts. You haven't played them since uh, 2 0 win way back in, in August. Um, I thought that was quite a tough game that pulled through with Kirsty um, and, uh, and Sam Kerr. Are you expecting the same again? I think so, yeah, Mark. Probably, probably an even harder game, um, given the fact that they've strengthened their squad and the, you know they've got they've put more game minutes under their belt. Um, a really well organised team, you know, that we with two or three key players in it. Yeah, it'll be a difficult, a difficult game away from home. And also, I tend to think the, that their home games are it's a slightly strange kind of venue, which is obviously a lot less strange to you, sorry, to them. Than it is to the to the visitors. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's obviously it's a good facility. It has a good surface. Um, you know that's that's the one positive bit about it. You know, um, but yeah, so it's, it's on a in a university campus. But no, listen, we're um, we're really happy with the with, with the venue, and listen, we're quite comfortable playing there. We're quite comfortable playing anywhere. You know. In terms of the the fixtures that are coming up, you've obviously got a, a game against Glasgow City to get um, rescheduled, but. Until you play Celtic again, you've got um, Hearts, Motherwell, Aberdeen, and the United Hibs. This time of year, once we've turned into the new year, this tends to be when teams start to to lose players through injuries and suspensions, usually in a, a higher rate than than at the start of the season. In yeah. terms of these games, some of which you've get you've got two in a week, are you are you planning ahead with the team to pace themselves? Um, because obviously, because you're playing, you know, not City and, and Celtic, yeah. you've really got to try and mount up the points in, in this next six weeks or so. Yeah, I think you know one a couple of the things that we do is we do we do um, plan long term, you know, um, and we do obviously we, we we do our due diligence on a daily basis in terms of training, you know. But yeah, you know, it's one of the things that we are aware of the amount of games that come up. But again, again, we, we we must focus on on game by game, and, and in fact, as I've said before, previous, I'll, you know, sound like an old record here, but it's it's training session by training session to see who's who's fit, who's strong, who's who's in form, you know, who's really driving and, and pushing. I think what, what was really pleasing when we came back in the, from the Christmas break there that there was a real energy and a real desire to get back. Um, and you're right in what you say there. There are, I think there's about 12 games right up until the middle of March. So, yeah, it's a tough calendar, but we've got a, a healthy, strong squad to, to choose from. Obviously, you gave that squad quite a run out at the, at the weekend and were um, rewarded with, with 10 goals, which, you know, sadly is, is a wee bit of a um, procession. Um, but obviously, I think there's nothing better for a team than to get goals under their belts. Yeah, definitely. There, there's a challenge that's set out. You know, we we really look into the the data that we collect um, from training sessions and from games. Um, part of that data was um, the, the the game Sunday there that we had 37 attempts at goal, um, and you know the, the the goal ratio came out exactly the way we want it. You know, so for example, 37 shots and goals. Let's let's call it 40. 20 must hit the target and get 10 goals. In fact, you know, scoring 11 goals in that game, then that's the kind of that's the kind of key bit that we took out of that. And also the goals coming from certain individuals, and namely, you know, young Jody um, making her way in, in, in a professional environment and in a strong, strong Rangers team to to play 90 minutes and get a hat trick. I was really extremely proud of that that achievement that she made. Yeah, I mean, Jody seems to have. Um how can you put it, that, that kind of aura around her is that she almost can't quite believe that she's she's in a full-time environment and, and playing for Rangers. In terms of the herself, how you, you rate her and her development, are there any other players from the, the weekend that you think of um, simply because of their, their performance, they're, they're going to stay in the team this coming weekend? Yeah, well, I think I'd said at the weekend there it was a real team performance, which was pleasing. There was no one individual that really stood out, you know, albeit that um, Jody scored the hat trick. Um, I think the team performance was key um, in the way we played and the, the professionalism that was shown. There are a group of players that that really, um, they really, they're really strong in the fact that they support each other. So there's, there's, they've always got that each other's back scenario there. They're there. They're there to encourage somebody who's maybe no things are not quite happening for them, 
and they're also there to to put a demand on each other, which is which is pleasing as well. Um, so the dynamic of the group at, at this this stage, it's and and again, you know, it's, it's taken three years. It's like anything; it takes time and effort and and repetition of practice. Um, you know, technically, tactically, but but mentally as well. So I'm really pleased in the fact that the 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 young girls had that responsibility to get us through the the into the next round. You know, Jodie Jodie McCleary, Kirsty McLean, and Emma Watson being the younger ones there. But the older guys uh, in the squad were there in terms of the whole week of preparation and in the game day itself, when you know we deliver our game plan. That I, I, I was, you know, I was witnessing um, Nick Dockerties and, and even Sam Kerr, who I thought was fantastic, and that she was she was there to encourage and help and support, which for me is is true professionalism. Well, thank you for that insight, Malky. I'm going to finish off with my with my last question, which uh, quite often you, you you keep your your cards close to your your chest, and we are a couple of days out from the game, but uh, in terms of the weekend. How are you looking injury wise and suspension wise? Um well right now right now the suspension is no problem with suspensions. Um we've got Nick Dock's got a wee bit of the flu just now, so we're hopeful that she'll she'll come back in. It's early days, it was early in the week she had that, so we're we're, we're keeping a tab on her. Maddie Nolf has come back really strong and is probably ahead of the game in terms of her um her, her hamstring injury. Um and Hannah I'll, I'll check up with Hannah later on today as to whether she'll train tomorrow or she'll come back in on Saturday. 